commander and part of the detail lieutenant supervising the three activities, three sergeants, and 30 police officers. In his spare time, Aku is a strategic engaging with the community during numerous events throughout the year and is known as the top DJ. Fans, let's give a round of applause for Lieutenant Aku Rowe. Lieutenant, DJ Ace, your boy French Montana, you already know what it is. Fix your face. <laughs> Shut up when I'm sipping. Mm -hmm. Look at how I'm living. Mm -hmm. Everything different. Welcome back, everybody. Today we have my boy DJ Ace in the building. Say hi. What up, y'all? What's going on? <laughs> well, I'm excited to have DJ Ace here with us because I've known him for a couple of years and I've seen him just like elevate in DJing. But not only that, but just. Tell them a little. Yeah. So, every week just brings something new for me, but you know, I, I owe it to my boss, uh, Chief Madry. He started out with the Cops Kids DJ program. Wait, let him know. Let him know who you are. Like. Oh, okay. I'm DJ Ace, the Cut Lieutenant. <laughs> Probably seen my videos on social media getting busy on the turntable. Um, but the like, lieutenant, y'all. Uh, real, <laughs> a real lieutenant in the NYPD. So my boss, uh, Chief Madry, he had an um, idea back in the day, um, cops, kids, uh, DJ battle. So the video from that battle uh, went viral. And just every week, just different people hitting me up. Uh, LL Cool J, Funk Flex. Uh, DJ Dice, so I got to take my hats off to him. He's Redman's tour DJ. He hit me up, told me to come to his crib, and he just introduced me to everybody. And mm. it, just, it, it just went crazy just went from crazy. here. Okay, so it was like a, it was, it was a battle. It wasn't a really a battle, a battle with kids where the cops could win. It was a um, for showcase for the cops, and mm -hmm. the kids could battle, and they won prizes. It was a great event. I never. Um, uh, participate in anything like that. I wish uh, that was around when I was a kid. Uh, right. It, it would have been great, but <laughs> the kids uh, had a good time. Actually, one of the kids now is an actual police officer. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I, I was very proud to see that. And how long has it been since then? Um, nine years. That's crazy. So mm -hmm. when we met, how long ago, how long has it been already? <laughs> so we you know were already DJing, you were already DJing then? Yeah. Because it hasn't, it wasn't, it hasn't been nine years. It's been maybe like Six what, that seven. we know each other? Yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, we met uh, way after. Way after that. That's crazy. Yeah. So at that time, I didn't even know you were DJing. No, you didn't know. So a friend of mine told us that we were going to go out to a party at Lieutenant's house. You know how we... we I throw like, some crazy parties. Yeah. <laughs> I, we were like, what? Party at a Lieutenant's house? What are you talking about? Like, what? <laughs> but we had such a good time. Lieutenant Ace, his wife, they showed us the most love they fed us we had a good time and then after that obviously I, we kept in touch and one day i just seen him scratching <laughs> it's not just about you going viral is the scratching the talent that you have with scratching itself. Like, I've never seen anybody, like, do it how you do it. Thank you. Thank and I was, like, amazed, because I was like, damn, not only was he cool, he's a lieutenant, but now he really, he, he knows music, too, because that was another thing. Like, the songs that he plays, he goes back in the day, he can play upcoming music. And um, I always felt that I seen that side of you that I didn't see as a loose, you know, like right, right. In, in uniform. And then I've seen, then I seen you in uniform, actually like coming to the Barclay. 
So, like, how do you separate, like, the two lives now? Because how do they look at you as a police well, officer? For me, it's easy. I'm, you know, like I tell the new cops, um, you know, you don't have to put on a front or put on, you know, some kind of persona. Just be yourself. So, I'm myself right now. And when I put on a uniform, I'm the same. I say hello to people. Sometimes people in the street stare me down and look at the cop. So, I just, you know, hey, what's going on? So sometimes people will say hello back. They're surprised that I said something. The hard guys will just turn away. And, uh, you know, some people just give me the head nod. But either way, that's just who I am. I'll say hello and mm -hmm. keep it moving. So how I am now is how I am at work. Mm. And, and I, that's what really, like, wins people over, especially right. when it comes to, like, police. They, they think police are robots and, you mm -hmm. know, we're mean for no reason. We're out to get you. And... You know, once I uh, have a conversation with people, they realize, oh, this guy is regular like me. You know, I can actually yeah, like, kick it with He's with friends with a lot of rappers, y'all. Like, a lot of rappers know him and love him. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted you here today, because we have a real, like, climate that's real, uh, like, full of tension right now between right. Um, police officers and, and people of the community. And... What I wanted a lot of people to realize is that there are a lot of dope officers, because like I was telling you behind the scenes, I grew up with my mother working in the precinct and working with community affairs. And it's very easy for me to spot a police officer or someone that works, you know, that has in law enforcement right. and still see that they are human. Like right, they, right. they understand they have compassion and empathy. And I see that with you. And you're in such a high ranked position. So like, what are you kind of like, I know you're about to retire. That's something I want to say congratulations thank you, thank because you. I know that's not easy doing uh, so many years. Right. This is all I've known for 26 years. So right. It is going to be tough to give it up. Right. So that that's when you said that, all I kept thinking about, especially when I knew I was going to interview, is like feeling like what actions would you take in place with like um, the officers that are following behind you and kind of learning from you. And if there's something that you can leave with them, to make sure that there's something like you and giving back to the community and not damaging the community. Right. So every day, you know, I conduct roll call with the officers. Um, so one thing I stress to them, treat people exactly how you want to be treated. Um, God forbid if your family had to call the police and you were in the background, you would critique that cop's actions from start to finish. Ah, he didn't do this or she didn't do that. They're supposed to do this. So when people call you, you treat them the same exact way that you want your family to be treated, or you yourself will want to be treated. So mm -hmm. that's easy for, for me, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes people are in a bad mood. You know, we're human; we get in bad moods. But there's no reason to take it out on somebody that's calling nine one. Somebody could call nine one one time in their life. That's the only time they call nine one, and that'll be their perception of police officers forever. So it's up to you to, you know, give a good perception. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. Um, and then, like, since you've been with law enforcement so long, like, what is the craziest thing you've ex experienced? As so uh, this is one incident I'll never forget. This is burned in my memory. Uh, I probably had about three or four years on. Uh, I guess a woman was in distress. Um, she was suicidal, and she was, like, on the 28th floor. We made it in time. My partner was talking to her, and all of a sudden she just let go. And normally we get on the scene afterwards, but I was actually there from start to finish. So I'll never forget that. That was a oh, bad day. Wow. Yeah. And on the on the the good side, what is what is the positive? What is the most positive thing you've experienced so as a? I get a lot of positive uh, things. Uh, it's a good feeling when people remember me. Back in the day, I remember <laughs> you. You helped me out with this. I remember, <laughs> and it's like, man, you remember that? I don't even remember. And I have a pretty good memory, but I don't even remember. So I, I get that quite a bit. So that's a good feeling. Okay, and how is it now working in the Barclay? Because I know you've been there for a little while. Like, you do all the concerts yeah. and all the stuff. We opened up and... that building in 2012. I had a, a detail of officers. Um, it was quite a few of us. And when we initially went there, nobody liked us. We'd say hello, they would turn their head. But <laughs> over the years, we built up good relationships. Yeah, because you're in the heart of Brooklyn, yeah, downtown. Now, those folks look at us as like regular people. Don't even think we're even police officers because we built a good relationship with them. I and see. Everybody says hi. Everybody's like hi. Every time they see yeah. you, you, you built that reputation. I'm so happy that, one, you're retiring because you deserve to kind of like enjoy your life now. Right. But that's another reason why you're on the couch because I know you got a lot of things coming up with music. Yes, you're yes. going to give it full force. So 
Tell us what you yeah, got coming so I'm up. Going full force into the music right now. <laughs> actually turned down a lot of things things because I just don't have the time but uh mm -hmm. I'm gonna work on a new EP um this EP is actually gonna have rappers on it my first EP was just beats and me scratching but this one I'm gonna have uh rappers uh definitely a couple of new mixtapes uh I'm gonna start teaching everybody always hits me up to learn what I know so mm -hmm. I'm gonna start teaching a little bit and um Everything else, maybe some touring. And I was about to say, is there any <laughs> any uh, any artists have been hitting you up to do like some work with them? Yeah, a few people. Um, I won't say nothing now because I don't want to. I don't want to jinx, <laughs> jinx it. You don't want to jinx it right now. I don't want to jinx it. But yeah, that's an option too. But like, I went a uh, hundred percent uh, in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go a hundred percent in uh, into the music. Uh, I've accomplished everything that I wanted to do in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for the next chapter. Okay. All right. Who's your top five, dead or alive? Uh, rappers. Uh, so I'm gonna put Nas number one. Um, Rock him. Mm -hmm. Big L. That's three, right? Mm -hmm. Uh Pun. Big Pun. Uh oh. Man, who's number five? Uh, who's <laughs> number five? I go with Biggie. Oh, I was about to say you gonna you gonna leave Biggie out. Yeah. Um. So now that you're like you're about to retire, what are the things that you're gonna do for yourself? So I'm, I'm always about improving myself. So I'm about to say mental. Yeah. So definitely, uh, yeah, way less stress. I'm gonna be dealing <laughs> with. Um, you know, way less stress. That's number one. Then uh, getting getting in better shape. Uh, learning a, another language. Uh, definitely travel more. Uh, I can't cook, so I'm gonna learn how to cook. That's one thing. My wife would be happy. About I was about that. to say, everybody will be happy. <laughs> uh, spend more time with the fam. Definitely, my little son. I can mold him uh, into what I want him to be. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe some remodeling around the house. Okay. That's that's just for starters. That's my little list. All right, all right. <laughs> so before we go, and we go into no hesitation. Guess what, y'all? He's never seen no hesitation. I'm excited. I don't know what this is. So just... <laughs> Which. What did I walk into? You see, I, just, I chose DJ Ace because one, I knew he was going to give us some good information and some good insight on stuff. So we going to, don't worry about it. We're going to go to no hesitation. But if you had any advice for artists and just the youth in general on how to like deal and uh, communicate with police officers now more than ever, what is it that you can like some advice on so communication is key i'll tell you a quick story too um the other day i was at the arena um it was an asian artist playing so the audience was i would say 99.9 percent .9 asian mm -hmm. these four young black kids come up uh to me and my offices and uh looked like they were uh gonna be funny guys so they said something uh about the show but we started kicking it these kids were great they were 13, 14 years old. They played basketball. One of them rapped. And we actually had a great conversation for about 10 minutes. I, I wish somebody would have captured that because it was organic. It, it was, wasn't was planned. And those kids left and with a good feeling because, um, you know, we didn't come off like oh, tough guys. We were regular guys. I told them I played basketball, then I DJ. And it just humanized us. And uh, those kids left laughing. It, it was great. So just definitely don't be afraid of police officers. Um, if you're stopped by the police, nobody wants to be stopped by the police. I've been stopped by the police. Um, just cooperate. I know a lot of people say, even when people cooperate, people get killed. You know, some cases, every case is not the same. But you have a better chance of coming out of the situation cooperating. I cooperate, and I'm a police officer. When I get pulled over, my hand's on the wheel. Here's my ID. Have a good day. And that, that's it, you know. So I would suggest, you know, definitely don't be afraid of police officers. Cooperate, and you'll be out of that situation the best you can. Okay. So you ready for no hesitation? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> so we'll be back with no hesitation. What's going on, y'all? This is DJ Ace, the Cut Lieutenant. Catch me on the Come Up shows with my girl, Casey. Salute. Come up in a minute. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shut up when I'm sipping. Mm, ooh, look at how I'm living. Mm, ooh, everything different. Mm, ooh, come up in a minute. Mm, 
Woo. Shut up when I'm sipping. Mm. Look at how I'm living. Mm. Woo.